story to talk about. Now, Disneyland planning an all-nighter to celebrate Leap Year this week, but did you know Walt Disney himself used to pull all-nighters all the time inside the park? I believe it. He had a secret apartment, and KTLA's Dave Malkoff got inside to take a look. It's one attraction you'll probably miss at Disneyland, a small light in a window above the fire department on Main Street, USA. But go behind the scenes up an ordinary utility staircase, and there it is. Hi, welcome. <laughs> Hi, Kevin. How are you? It's very nice to see you. Yeah, welcome to Walt's private apartment. It is currently not open to the public. This space was actually built before the park was open. Walt Disney stayed here on the nights. He didn't want to drive all the way back to the west side of L.A. He and his wife Lillian love the Victorian styles. We have the Regina music box right over here. And if we wound it up, they would actually play different songs. So sort of these are different... Tracks Correct. Each one of these discs. This is the old CD player. Yeah. <laughs> By getting into the apartment, you can do the equivalent of looking through Walt Disney's iPod. And this is an Edison phonograph. We don't play it anymore, but we actually have about a dozen wax cylinders. There they are. Oh, wow. These are originals. That's correct. This is the last hope from the Edison concert band. We found a copy of that very cylinder online. Now, place some Mickey Mouse cartoons on top of it. And it seems to fit, right? Are these the exact ones that, that Walt would listen to? Yes. We definitely like band music on Parole March. This is actually the mattress. Who um, slept here? This was Walt's side. Uh -huh. uh, Lillian se slept on the other. and we Wait, They slept on different sides? Separate beds. It was the style of the times. Um, I mean, if you look at some of the early TV shows, even I Love Lucy, yeah. the early, in the early seasons, Lucy and Ricky slept in separate beds. Walt was also very private about this place. It's thought only a few photos exist of the family up here. So that's Walt, uh -huh. um, and that's Lily in the chair. And then these are their, t uh, their two daughters, Sharon and Diane. And I believe that is Roy Miller, who is um, Diane, Diane Disney Miller's husband. But there's also a balcony. Outside. There is, in but fact. It was a great place for him to be able to observe the crowds and even wave to them as they were coming, or, uh, coming in for the day or leaving at the end of the night. So people looked up here and they saw Walt Disney waving. Definitely, yep. You can imagine the tree was a lot smaller back in oh. 1955. <laughs> the theme park industry didn't really exist before Disneyland. Um, and then Walt came in and made it the standard. And one more thing, the light in the window. This was actually Walt Disney's desk lamp letting park employees know he was here for the day. Since his death, it's been an everlasting flame letting everyone know that Walt Disney is still here in spirit. At Disneyland, Dave Malkoff, KTLA 5 News. Pretty fascinating stuff. Very cool. Really fascinating, right? Love it. All right.